hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jasmine lee and today i have a little bit of a treat depending on whether or not you like morphe i am going to be reviewing their 2020 holiday collection for you guys now i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm very skeptical about this palette and the rest of the stuff I like, but this palette I'm so skeptical about. I did watch Strashmi's video where she, you know, let us know what all was going to be in the collection and her headlining it. And I really wasn't enthused. Like, I was just like, will that even show up on my skin? And honestly, I'm still hesitant. We're about to find that out. Um, I'm very chocolate toned, so we're going to find that out. We're going to see. I was very excited about these lashes just to try them out um is the i don't even know if this Mor morphe's uh first time putting out lashes or if they have had them this whole time but i was definitely excited to try out these just to see what the quality was like i like that they're like an everyday type of style um you do have some one down here that's like more dramatic so I'm excited to try those out. For the whole collection in its entirety, I believe I spent around $122. I did use the code STRASHME for some money off. I don't have my own personal code yet. Wink, wink. Morphe, if you see this, hook your girl up, okay? So I got everything um, just to see what everything was like. I know for a fact I like Morphe brushes. A large portion of my collection is Morphe brushes. So, I'm just going to unbox everything and then we are going to get straight into the nitty gritty of this review and this demo. For starters, there are six pieces in this collection. There's actually seven, but there's a highlighter that they're not going to drop until early November. I already have my favorite highlighter, so I'm not like pressed to get that. So, you guys have already seen the lashes as I've shown you. Let me go ahead and take them out the plastic. I see everyone like talking about how much they dislike the packaging and you know, just like the theme of this this holiday collection. However, the holidays are about love for some people. A lot of people get proposed to on Christmas and you know, different holidays, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. So the holidays are about love. If you're not in a relationship where every day feels like Valentine's Day, you're probably in the wrong relationship. <laughs> okay so we have their um what is it called continuous setting spray continuous mist setting sprays so we have a full size and a travel size missed me missed you we have two lip kits so in both lip kits this is the uh sweet tea one and then this is the berry colored one um, and both of them, you get a matte lipstick, a lip gloss, and a color pencil that coordinates with each color. Ooh, I should have covered the prices, guys. I'll put them on the screen. I'll put them on the screen. You get um, the brush lust kit. And if you get the brushes, it's going to come with the bag. If you want, you can purchase the bag by itself. I can't say, like, I'm not crazy about bags like this, even though, like, I'm starting to be, just because I do want to have a bag like this to throw in my purse, put lip gloss and stuff in it, um, mascara, like, the things that you re-up on throughout the day, um, I will put in one of these and just pop it right in my purse, so it's useful for that reason. Using it for brushes is not what I would do, and, um, it comes with 10 brushes. I am hyped um, about the fact that it comes with 10 brushes. That's really, really nice. And I am a little curious, given that Ashley is the headliner of this campaign, I'm curious to know if she had anything to do with this silicone glitter packer. If you've been a fan of Stress Me for a while, she has a video up where she used this in her Glossier. Um, I can't even remember the title of it, but she was doing something with a Glossier. Uh, product and she was using glitter gel and she used one of these from another company to place her glitters on her eyes and I was like oh my god that brush is freaking genius I had never seen that brush before so I'm wondering if she had anything to do with bringing that to Morphe um I don't think this collection was a collaboration I just literally think she's the face like what she said but I'm wondering I'm just very curious to know like what input they allowed her to put in because that sounds like an Ashley handprint okay then drum roll please <laughs> we have 
the 35 xo now this is my first time looking at this palette so like in person anyway um this is called the natural flirt artistry palette um 35 xo morphe always has that number code for you just in case you don't remember the name of the palette their whole theme with this collection um reason being why i have my like my pink hair on is because it's fab and flirty their whole theme for this was just flirty fun fresh whatever so this is what it looks like and initially i was not feeling the packaging i was not feeling none of it i wasn't feeling the colors i was like what is this and looking at it now it's actually really pretty like this is what it looks like I like that um, the names are printed on the cardboard. I don't think Morphe has done that before. At least not to my knowledge. They haven't done that before. I already have one color that wants to jump out the pan. Uh, right here, if you can see it, your move. It already, already wants to jump out the pan. I'll just open this up so you guys know I'm not bluffing. I'm just going to take my finger and like push it back in there. So yeah, that could be like a glittery highlight. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking this actually. The palette is slightly damaged. Nothing too crazy though. It's like just bent around the edges. That's stuff I don't really care about. Those little dings, I don't really care about. As long as my freaking shadows are intact, we are good. So this is what everything looks like. Just so you guys can get a good look. And if you guys have a favorite shade from this palette so far, just looking at it, eyeball. Go ahead and um, comment what the name of your favorite shade is down below and what colors you'd like to see me use in future tutorials. Off top, I really love this brown charmer. It's a lot more deep than I expected. I also love Love Story and Crushing Heart is cool. I guess it's like a pressed glitter. Yeah, it's a pressed glitter. I'm not a fan of glitter, but I would try that just, you know, just, just to see what I can do. So yeah, I'm like, I keep looking at it because like I'm really impressed with, I'm impressed with it for the most part. There's still two rows, the, these top two rows that I'm questionable about because I'm just wondering like how I could work that in. Let's say I use Meet the Rents, I could probably use Touchy Feely to blend out meet the rinse and get like a more friendly blend um so we'll see i don't know okay so now that you guys have seen all the pieces we're gonna go ahead and create our own look um i have no idea what i'm going for but hopefully you guys end up liking it hopefully i end up liking it we'll see so let's get right into it okay so based on what i've learned just from just experimenting with different shadows getting to know them they tend to perform different on different bases. So today I'm going to be trying two different bases. One of which is going to be the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base. And then the other one is going to be the Perfect Prime eyeshadow priming base from Be Perfect Cosmetics. The Be Perfect primer has a lot more of a wet consistency whereas the MAC primer has a lot more of a matte. Um, or dry type of consistency so I just want to see if this if this affects the shadows at all so on my right eye I'll be using MAC and on my left eye I'll be using Be Perfect let's get into it the first shade I'm gonna go into is Just Friends which is this shade here um, and in comparison to this brown Just Friends is a lot more warmer whereas You Up is a lot more cool toned so I'm just putting Just Friends all over my crease on both eyes. Okay, so now that I have Just Friends on exactly where I want it, I am going to be going into this warmer but darker brown, which is Let's Snuggle. Alright, now that I have... Um, let's snuggle blend it out into my crease along with just friends. I am going to dip into this pink, which is plus one. It's like a pinkish purple. 
and I do want to make the edges like really soft so I do want it to blend into the browns really seamlessly if I can help it. And so far I've used one brush for all three colors and I haven't had any problems. Although I know you're not supposed to do that, but hey. My set, my brushes, I can do what I want. Alright y'all, so so far you just get this wash of pink and brown. I know, boring! No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> We are going to slightly blend around the edges of that let me take a clean brush so i can do that i'm taking this other blending brush i don't really know all of them apart this one has a pointier tip so that's a more precise blending brush and then this one is a more fluffy blending blending brush if that helps so i'm gonna go ahead and take the fluffier one and just blend around the edges So I might not be doing anything special. Let me look at my larger mirror so I can like really see. So it looks pretty in person. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it on camera, but it's not doing everything I'd like it to do. But let's just go with it and see. Mm, I kind of like that. I know what I'll do. Okay, so this look is getting further and further away from like pink smoky eye. I don't know what this is turning into, but I like it. Okay, so my battery had died. Sorry about the abrupt cut because that's probably what's about to happen. But I'm going to be going into the P. Louise base um, shade 2, rumor 2. And I have some on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to cut my crease with this. While I have this crease cut and this base a little bit wet, I'm going to now go into Make It Official and just take a touch of that on the outer corner of my eye. Well, not the outer corner of my eye, but the outer corner of the cut crease. Now I'm going to take Talk Feelings. And I'm going to put that on the remaining part of this cut crease. Talk Feelings is really pretty. Very pigmented. Obviously, I'm using my fingers, so that could also play a part. I'm actually, now that I'm going in with fingers in the previous colors, I'm actually liking that better. So... Okay, so now that I know I like using my fingers, I'm going to skip over using the brush and I'm going to go into make it official with my fingers just like I did on this eye. I know what I should have did and I'm probably going to redo this look later, but just for the sake of this demo. So like you see how it makes this jump from brown, I mean from purple to brown to pink. There's actually like a mauve color I could have used. So next time I'll put the brown where I put the purple then go from purple and then the mauve and then the pink if that makes sense i have to show you guys because your girl is picking up really bad and i'm really like i'm trying to make it work i've given up like five times and some of this is user error it's not morphe it's it's me it's definitely me
okay i think i may have salvaged the look okay so what i did was i went into with this bling right here which is a shimmer shadow and then i also went into second date right here and they're both shimmers i mixed them together on my finger and just blended them in so this is what it looks like now i like it a lot more because i still have the depth of make it official underneath which is that super dark brown from before i still have the depth but then i have the shimmer softening that out so that seems to have helped things and now i'm happy er and yeah the pink is looking different for each eye so i'm gonna see if i can like try to build this eye up to match that eye and it could be because my fingers were still like tainted from the other shadow there we go i just wanted the same color payoff on both eyes now what am i gonna do next i do think i want to put liner on the i mean eyeshadow on the bottom lash line for that i am gonna drag the purple underneath just for the sake of continuity and because like here as you guys can see i brought it out a little too far so i might as well bring it underneath this side would have been okay but Either way, it's all right. Okay, guys, so, so far, I feel like I did a pretty good job at salvaging this eye look, so... Just so you guys can get a better look at what I did. Tell me what you think in the comments below about this look. Do you love it? Do we hate it? Like, what's going through your mind right now? Um, what I need to do is go ahead and put on the lip color. Um, I'm going to give you guys swatches of both so you can see what we're working with. I feel like the only thing that's going to go with this lip is a purple, the purple one. Just so that you guys can see it. Um, but that's probably not like that's a little too loud so this purple is called play games and then of course this is a favorite of people's I've never tried it but it's called sweet tea actually this is my first time trying any morphe lip products so I'm kind of excited about that Okay, this brown is literally the same color as my skin tone. <laughs> I feel like Morphe's lip formula could be a lot creamy, creamier than what it is, but it's cute. Not giving me like I need it vibes, but it's definitely cute. That smells good. I don't, I can't even describe the smell, but it smells good. It's pleasant. Let me go ahead and set my face. So I'm using the regular Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And my sprayer is kind of defunct. And lastly, I'm just going to put on lashes. I'll be right back. Oh, this is my finished look. I'm okay with it. I'm not super proud of it. I think I've done better. However, um, I did have fun using the palette and just like working through any issues that came up. And once again, definitely user error, not any fault of Morphe. The palette is just fine. My only concern is that like, while this is a good everyday palette, it's just very bland. It's very bland for the holiday season. Um, there are ways to jazz this up, so don't get me wrong. You have enough colors down here where you can build some depth with your look and like get a little more dramatic um but it's still gonna be it's gonna have a romantic feel to it no matter what because of the color choice you could do a really pretty smoky eye there's just a lot of things you can do but most people already have a palette that they can get 
these looks with so it doesn't really do anything for me the brushes are cool um the glosses are cool i do think that like morphe is running out of ideas and maybe they should just like chill and figure out ways to innovate and improve the products they already have out which is what a lot of these companies should be doing this lipstick could be like a way more creamy the lip gloss is fine i just think that the applicator does not pick up enough product for me so you end up having to like dip 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 and like just reapply a lot more than you may like um the lashes the lashes are still my favorite <laughs> out the whole collection so take that as you will i'm not disappointed but i'm definitely not impressed um but yeah if you guys have any thoughts on this collection um whether you are underwhelmed impressed excited to get it or not let me know what you think in the comments below bye guys thanks for watching